Hey, Mushroom Nerds, it's Anna. It is uh, mid-December 2020 in Raleigh, North Carolina. I am looking down at a collection of a very common mushroom uh, that is considered a look-alike for the turkey tail mushroom. Its uh, Latin name is Trimedes betulina. Um, unlike a lot of other mushrooms in the Trimedes genus, the thing that makes Trimedes betulina really distinct uh, and very, very obviously different from turkey tail uh, because instead of having a porous uh, undersurface, the sort of smooth and white and a, a little bit uh, sandpapery, uh, Trimedes betulina actually has gills. So a lot of mushrooms that grow sort of in this, uh, in this particular format are uh, in the Trimedes genus or related genera and they, uh, again, have a smooth uh, polyporous undersurface. But this uh, sort of, you know, uh, brittle, dry, gilled surface is very distinctive uh, for Trimedes betulina. Uh, additionally, I will find a specimen that's a little bit more uh, distinct here. Okay, so um, the coloration of Trimedes betulina kind of varies. Oftentimes you'll find it, it's uh, really green. It looks almost like it's picking up bits of moss that may in fact be what it is, moss or algae or something along those lines. Uh, oftentimes you'll see turkey tail as well, like growing on the exact same substrate. They're both wood decomposers. So you'll find them on downed logs growing in these sort of um, elaborate rosettes. But, uh, you know, in the case of, um, again, Trimedes betulina, you have a, a sort of multi-zonal growth form here. It's a little bit furry on the top. Those are also features of uh, turkey tail and its relatives. But uh, the coloration is much more, uh, in, this, in this case, much more tan. And then, uh, again, when, when weather conditions are a little bit warmer and it's a little bit wetter, you'll oftentimes see them in tones of green. Um, I guess I'll finish by saying, you know, there's uh, a lot of fun things uh, that you can notice about mushrooms that are not edible. Um, you know, I think one of my favorite features of mushrooms is that they are often uh, kind of mutated and they just tend to grow sort of opportunistically on whatever their substrate is. And so in this instance, I've got one that's growing inside out right along the edge. I like that. Uh, this one, it has uh, a typical growth form, but it also has this weird ass thing that's uh, basically it formed a little bit of uh, gill surface on the top, which um, again, I always find to be delightful. Um, as far as remembering the Latin name, like there isn't a common name to my knowledge. I guess some people may call it the gilled polypore. Um, but at any rate, you know, I remember it because betulina is related to the word birch in Latin, and I very frequently find this growing on birch. So uh, there's a couple of other mushrooms that fall into that category. Um, Areobolitis betula, that also uh, grows in association with beech. So betula, betulina, that is uh, sort of a name that I picked up and then uh, try to use that to learn the mushrooms that grow underneath that tree. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day, and I'm going to continue my walk, see if I can find something a little bit more colorful.